Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is have a look at what's going on uh, on the hobby table at the moment. Uh, actually, last night um, I had my first attempt at using uh, Citadel's contrast paints. Heard lots about them. Uh, my brother bought me uh, a good number of them for Christmas, so I thought I'd give them a go. I'll show you how that's going in a moment. I've uh, got a few projects on the go on the table. The first one, uh, never mind the bill hooks. Uh, this all came about when the rules were posted in War Games Illustrated a few months ago. And uh, it got my juices going because I, I had a number of boxes, probably about eight boxes of Perry's 28mm plastics. Some of the first ones that came out were Wars of the Roses a good few years ago now, and I bought quite a few of them. Uh, always hoping to uh, get a little force together and uh, as is often the case they sat filed away and I've done nothing with them. Um, these rules came out and that really gave me the impetus to break them out and put some together. Alongside that I did buy um, a number of figures from eBay and also through Heinz figurines as well. Uh, and, and in case in, in, in the case of some of those um, second hand purchases I bought them with the view to touching up the paintwork uh, putting my own kind of spin on that depending on the retinues etc so uh, I've done a quite a few already um, at the moment I've got some of the uh, purchases second hand ones here uh, these are arches um, I've just actually converted a unit of halberdiers which were done in the same um, colours I was quite pleased with how they turned out, so I'm going to get those arches uh, changed in due course. And um, the vein of my life is doing cavalry in large scales, and th that's where I thought I'd give the contrast paints a go, see if that could make life a little bit easier for me. So at this stage, I've, I've just undercoated, uh, undercoated these, and then put some base coats. Uh, and contrast um, sort of base layers on there. So we used um, we used um, basilic and grey uh, on the main figures here, where we're going to be dealing with armour. They will be getting a silver um, coat over the top, and then we've used gore grunt of fur uh, for the horse colours themselves, and black templar as well, just to give a bit of variation in horse colours. So hopefully once I put a few highlights on there and then fill in some of the other base colours that should one make the job a bit quicker and two uh, hopefully they'll they'll look okay when they're done. Um, so that's an ongoing project really looking forward to when we can get back to face to face wargaming and hopefully getting those on the table and setting up a game for the guys uh, on a Friday evening when we meet. Uh, in addition to that, uh, another set of rules that we're using a lot, uh, or have been playing a lot actually during the pandemic, is you can use uh, gridded uh, mats, and we've been playing that over Skype, is for King and Parliament. So we've been using um, the pre-printed uh, regimental um, units that you can print out, mount, uh, and they represent a battalion or a regiment or a squadron. And um, we've had several games of that. Uh, Stow on the Wold we've played, Montgomery we've played, and, and we've had some quite interesting games of that. So that's given the, the impetus to paint up some old 6mm uh, Bacchus range um, Royalists that I had. And more recently, um, at the beginning of last year, I purchased a Montrose Scottish um, Army, um, which I've been gradually starting on in, in recent weeks as well. So at the moment with that, I've already painted um, three brigades of Irish um, and also uh, the Strathbogie Regiment and I'm now starting uh, the Highlanders. Again, you probably won't be able to see those very well on the camera, um, but 6mm Bacchus, lovely figures, lots of detail, really nice and easy to paint. Um, so once I've got those done, I've got some more Highlanders to do. They'll probably end up with about six uh, units of those and then uh, generals, officers, a couple of frame guns and maybe some uh, additional forlorn hopes which are not forlorn hopes in, in, in English Civil War terms they're more uh, skirmishes uh, for the purposes of the King and Parliament rules.
So that's just a little update on uh, current work in progress on the painting table. And uh, what I'd like to do now is show you a game I recently received um, just prior to Christmas from the US, The Land in Gallipoli 1915. <laughs> 